have to prepare myself for a press conference. Eh? It would be a massive benefit for you. If I would prepare myself for a press conference, it would maybe help. <laughs> Jimmy? Sam. Uh, Jürgen, Othomelo, what can you tell us about his availability tomorrow? Would he even be ready for a Merseyside derby if international clearance comes through? And what do you think he will bring to the club through his loan spell, but possibly beyond that as well? Yeah, first of all, I'm um, really happy about um, uh, this transfer. Um, out, I, I, my information is I will not happen until tomorrow, so the, the international clearance. We all hope it. Uh, um, it we will be. He will be fine for for Napoli. Um, what does he bring? He's a really good footballer. I think we agree all on that. And um, had a very exciting career already, and still pretty young. So actually, in the in the best age for a footballer, uh, or coming in the best age for a footballer. Um, and yeah, it's just a. Um, he gives rhythm. He can give rhythm. He's a really good passer He's with the ball. Has speed with the ball. Um, safe on the ball is and can how I said can demand rhythm, which is pretty is pretty important. Um, really good in tight areas, can keep and that's all these kind of things. So uh, I, I like it a lot. And now, of course, it's like this: Why can you loan a player like this? Because it didn't work out 100% at Juventus, but um, I see that rather as a positive because the, the potential is is for sure still there. We play obviously different to to Juve, and um, we all thought that could fit pretty well. So that's why I'm really pleased. Also looking ahead to tomorrow, what has Jordan Henson's scan revealed about the extent of his hamstring injury? Nothing yet. Still waiting for the result. To be honest, it was now only 12:30 or so, and I didn't get. I asked before I came here. Um, didn't get a result yet. Does that mean he's out? Though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As he's definitely out. Um, he's injured, but the extent I don't know. And Darwin Nunes obviously is available again after suspension. Given the nature of Merseyside derbies, what do you weigh up when deciding whether or not to bring him straight back into the starting lineup? Just thinking of the nature of his sending off, and obviously <laughs> we know what Merseyside derbies are like in terms of the intensity, etc. So, what comes into your thinking when you decide to? Ah, uh, yeah, now I got it. Now I got it. Yeah, when we when he got uh, when, when it was clear his three games, which was pretty. Clear. Then we thought, oh, the first game we can play again is the derby. <laughs> so if he wouldn't have the red card in, in three games ago, then he probably would have had now. But now he he learned the lesson. So um, he's in really good shape. Um, if you if you look how we came through this now um, um, with the last two with the last two games winning, um, it was we don't see it as a bad thing. Um, so at the, the time he was out because he we used it with him. We we, we tried to give him some extra input. Um, Physically as well as as tactically, looks really settled now, even more than before. Um, had good, had a really good last week. So, um, yeah, what we will make of that? We have to wait until tomorrow. So we have um, first time. Diogo probably will be in as well. He trained yesterday with the team first time. He will. Today, I have to make a decision. Make does it make sense that we involve him already or not? But if then it's the first time that we have five attackers, so I'll say Christmas. So um, and yeah, that's that's it. So about lineup, I will not speak. But we will, we will make changes. We will see. Um, I know we've spoken in the past about Roberto Firmino and all the work he does in general, rather than just the goals that he gets. But it's three and two. For him now, which takes him up to 100 for Liverpool as well. Is that been coincidental with the new faces arriving, or is that something that you adopted and brought in those? No, look, that was the other. That was, uh, if you want, the other little benefit that that, that um, of the of the suspension uh, that Bobby just, um, how, however he would have played, he would have played. So um, and it, timing was perfect. Um, finding his real shape being, uh, because we played obviously exceptional. I, I said before I, I liked a lot of the Man United game, even not a lot of people maybe agree with me on that. <laughs> um, but um, then obviously Bournemouth and now uh, again uh, really important for us uh, the way he plays um, and that's why it's yeah the Bobby we know. You cannot score 100 goals if you have a lot of downs. Um, 
but if you have a lot of ups, it's maybe possible, and that's why he has this uh, reached this number, which is pretty special. Um, really happy for him. Could see we, he, get, he got here in this room. He got his shirt with a 100. Um, um, the applause of the guys was nearly as loud as when we scored a 2-1 against Newcastle. Obviously, everybody thinks uh, is really happy for him, and um, yeah, it's good. Um, and just in terms of Everton as well, Liverpool haven't lost there since 2010 at Goodison Park, but eight of uh, the last ten there have been draws. What does that say about the nature? Tight game, but pretty much all. Most of the time, really tight. Um, uh, in the games we won, we won one with the Sadio Mane goal. I think 90th minute. Um, it's a big fight. We cannot ignore that, but you have to play football as well, um, and that's the challenge. It's all. Um, from this point of view, I really think the Newcastle game was a perfect preparation because the game, the, the, the game was super intense, um, and showed us what we will have to expect, even if somebody might not know it yet, then he knows it after Wednesday, and um, yeah. So, yeah, since 2016, I'm probably, I'm not sure we had my first half year, uh, uh, Merseyside I'll be there. Um, last few years I'm involved in these, most of these draws, um, and the games were still all different, just intense, um, a lot, a lot of fight, and um, the, the more you can put in football as well, uh, as well in between these fighting moments, the more likely you can get more from the game, but that's obviously a real challenge. Thank you. Julia? Um, is Nunes looking forward to making, or to being available again? And yeah. Yeah. I, I just kind of think that you say he's more settled and trying to reflect and, and to get going again. No, no, he's really happy that he's back, that he's not um, suspended anymore because I gave him for the, the time now. Always when I gave him high five, I gave him a slap in his neck as well. <laughs> just, just that he doesn't forget. Um, and um, yeah, that can stop now. Um, yeah, he's looking forward to it. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So my. I, the, the English didn't improve as much um, in this 10, 15 days, whatever it was. Um, so I don't know exactly, but it looks like. Okay, and, and I just want to ask a little bit more on, on sort of the injuries in the players. I, I just wondered what with Naby Keita, first of all, you were saying it was sickness, then we had a thigh muscle injury. Do we have any sort of timeline to when we would be back or what exactly the problem is? Uh, it's a muscle injury. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a muscle injury. We didn't, we didn't say that yet. We don't, we don't give. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh sorry. Then is it now? Is a secret. Um, yeah, for him, muscle injury. Ox is a muscle injury, and obviously for the um, and it will, they will be out for a while. So um, and and we don't know yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, Calvin. Ramsey is still, is still out, but really getting closer and closer for him. It was um, some of his back, something to do with the age and the growing and these kind of things. So he didn't um, train now properly with us yet, but um, he gets closer. And um, I think, sorry? Thiago. Thiago, yeah. Thiago is the closest from all. Um, he, I think, start of the week. He can next week. He can be. He will be in team training. Ibu, wow, we have still a lot of injuries. Yeah, but Ibu is not too far away. Ibu, in and around the, the international break, he will be back in training. Oh. Um, your team's always had that huge desire to win. And Thank you. The final minutes. How good is it to see someone like Fabio and Harvey Elliott also having that? Yeah, I would say in the stadium it's pretty difficult not to, to be like this, to be honest, because you could see the moment when we, when we especially when we score the equalizer, the, 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 the noise level um, increased immediately, and then we, we all pulled in really one direction, which was really great to see again. It's a, no, I, I, I like the atmosphere, obviously, in the Bournemouth game, but this atmosphere is much more what you what you want to have, and so that's absolutely great. Um, yeah. It's their character. 
So both are footballers through and through, like with all you want, like them, the, the, um, and obviously they want to win. That's clear. Um, and without being already pre a lot of like vocal on the pitch or whatever, but they lead in these moments with the ball on their feet, which is pretty important. And of course, it's how I said after the game, Harvey was best player on the pitch that night, which is pretty impressive for his age. It's now it doesn't happen now constantly um, in, in world football. And the impact of Fabio since he's here and when he came on was always there in all games. Was in the first game against City uh, already. Yeah, and um, so that's yeah, that's because of them. They're just um, real footballers. And they both got that temperament as well to go with the next two games, which are going to have a colder atmosphere and go to some Napoli as well. Yeah, Napoli is far away, but yeah, they probably have. Uh, that's clear. And more of the open section for me, one for embargo. We have an embargo for 12.30. The embargo for 12.30. The, all the content from this section is embargo until 10.30 tonight. 